guys welcome to today's vlog today is going to be a crazy busy day for us because we just got back into town yesterday and then tomorrow i'm going to new york for a meetup we have a lot of stuff to get done today a lot of filming a lot of editing a lot of cleaning if we have time but i thought it'd be fun to film a what i eat in a day video i have been watching so many of these lately today's video is sponsored by lifesum this is an app that i have been testing out and i have been seeing so many people use this actually so lifesum is an app that helps you just kind of maintain a healthy lifestyle so i use it to track my food just to see if I'm getting enough like carbs protein fats especially since I do try to eat a mostly plant-based diet I feel like sometimes I don't know if I'm like deficient in something so I like to keep track of that I it does also track your calories I don't know why I'm going into the pantry right now because my breakfast is in the fridge so one of my favorite things about the lifesome app is the fact that they have recipes on here so I'll show you guys so I went on here and typed in vegan because I wanted to find a vegan recipe for breakfast so they have a lot of really yummy recipes and I found this raspberry chia pudding and the other day when I was in London I had chia pudding and it was so good so I wanted to make my own so I favorited this and it's really easy because if you make this you can just add it like straight into your breakfast diary so this is a super easy recipe I made it last night so you whisk it together and then just basically put it in the fridge overnight just cut up a nectarine i don't think this nectarine is even right but felt really hard when i was cutting it this is so good this is so good this was so freaking easy if you have school if you have work you can literally make this in like five minutes at night and then just take it to go and it is so yummy they have a life score test so basically you take this little test and it asks you a bunch of questions kind of about just like your diet your lifestyle and then it determines overall like how healthy you are if you have things to work on and my score says I'm healthy, so I was really excited about that. And one thing that I like is that it tells you, it just has like a lot of information. <laughs> I like a lot of things about it, but you can see on this, it tells you like the distribution of the nutrients. So you can see this is actually kind of like high in fat, but tastes really good for one. But the calories are on track. It has a lot of fiber. So I just think it's really good to have this information, especially if I am like not eating meat and trying not to eat dairy. I'm gonna put the link to the app down below. I have the premium version. So so that just gives me like a little bit more information they also have these different plans you guys can pick from if you are trying to like have a certain diet or a lifestyle so down on the bottom here's like where the options are so i'm on the recipes tab which i already showed you guys earlier but it's just nice to have like all of this like in one place and the fact that you can just input the recipes like really quickly straight from here is really convenient and fast and they also like if you're using your own like not a recipe from in here they have a scan feature so you can just scan the barcode on something and that also makes it really quick because then you don't have to type everything in i've downloaded a couple new like health apps lately and this one is definitely one of my favorites the link is down below if you guys want to check it out i'll be using it like throughout the rest of the video so you guys can see but this cheap pudding is so freaking good i wonder if parker would like it i'm gonna tell him to come in here it's so good really good with the raspberries too no it's it's the best with the the, the nectarine okay ready yeah it's good it's very it's really good, good huh it is, that is really good like it's so yummy okay so we're at the grocery store now i'm gonna show you guys it's kind of like our basic grocery essentials one of our favorite snacks Halo oranges. You like them too, huh, babe? Yeah, but let's get different ones. Look at all the green ones. My bad, dude. We always get bananas. All the time. And I always try to pick the spottiest ones. Strawberries and grapes. I like purple grapes best. Those look good. We get a lot of fruit. I'm trying to see if they have passion fruit here. We're at a different grocery store because I wanted to see if they have it. Oh my gosh, they do. Yay. Ew, it's really creepy looking though. Look, babe, I found it. Yeah. I also like to get baby carrots. Potatoes. Oh, I think I usually get this kind. We like to get spinach. June 17th. Wait, what day is it? That's in like two days. Fly pack. Always check the back. And usually you can find newer ones. Except these all say June 17th. So sometimes the life hack doesn't work. But I like to get spinach. Whenever we come to the grocery store, we get homemade salsa because it's so yummy. And for veggies, sometimes if we're feeling lazy, we will get these like pre-packaged kind. Usually we try to just get like the normal kind. But we're kind of in a hurry today, so I'm just gonna grab these. What? The hummus in our fridge? 
Yeah, it's probably expired. Do you want any other veggies? Let's get like some broccoli. We're getting a watermelon too. We're only gonna be in town for like a little bit, so we don't really have too many groceries. Okay guys, so this is one of my favorite things. It's not healthy at all. But cup of noodles are so good, but I like to get the vegan one. I haven't had these in forever because they don't have them at the grocery store we usually go to. I'm gonna get a couple of these. So I'll have these on like a super lazy day or something. These are Parker's groceries. He has to have his crunch berries and his fruit snacks. I also really like lentils. Here's the black beans. I already got some. Where? Okay. Black beans in here. Less sodium one. Good job. I always like to have smoothies, so my favorite is well i actually use this for acai bowls mostly it's blurry but it's strawberries and blueberries so do i have acai acai right here i also like to get mangoes i'm gonna get two bags for my acai bowls this is my favorite granola chocolate peanut butter here's also some more parker's additions let's go He's got his chips his frozen pizza do you want to get lunch here Tomato basil, Parker got enchilada. Chicken enchilada. Ow, it's so hot. Looked up tomato basil soup on this. Added that in to my life some app. One of my favorite parts about this app is how cute it is when you like put in your water. So I just tapped on that cup and it just fills up. That's so cute. I also need to drink more water today, but I'll get to that. Our groceries are put away. I have some editing to do, so I'm gonna get started on that. But I wanted to show you guys this new rug. But this is from Urban. I got it to use as a background to shoot like product and stuff on. So for the store, if we had like a cute pair of shoes and I would like, you know, take a picture like that. So it's so cute. I wanted a smaller size, but this was the smallest they had. So I'm just dealing with it. Still haven't unpacked my suitcase from the last trip. We also had a whole bunch of packages over here that we opened last night, but I did just get two more. So I'm gonna open those. So this first one is from Urban. Kind of like a rug. It's like not a very soft blanket, but this is another thing I got to use as a background for some photos for the store. If we do like a flat lay or something, I thought it would be cute on this. Then this next one is from Revolve and they have the cutest new dress out. So I wanted to get this dress to wear to the meetup that I'm doing in New York. So the print of it is really, really pretty. So it's like super summery. It is a silky maxi wrap dress. So yeah. And I'll link it down below if you guys want to check it out. All right, guys. So we just filmed a video. He made some food for himself and he made some potatoes. So I'm going to have some of those. <laughs> the potatoes that I have is probably equivalent to like two of those like little baby potatoes so it's not very much. How's your food babe? So good. Good? How I'm so hungry. I'm editing for the past few hours. Go check out my new video. Oh man, I'm thirsty. Oh, the camera's sitting on Parker's water bottle. Okay <laughs> guys, so I'm obviously still hungry. I had like two bites of potato, so I'm going to make an acai bowl for dinner. This is one of my favorite things. I've already shown you guys my recipe, but it's so good, so I always like to have it for dinner instead of breakfast because it's like so yummy, so I love having it at the end of the day. I'm sad because normally I freeze my bananas and put them in here and it makes it like a lot thicker, but since I just bought these today, I'm gonna have to use a regular banana. I'm sure it will be fine, so I'm adding in a banana. I like to add one thing at a time and blend so that it doesn't go too crazy. You guys know this food processor like gets everywhere. I'm adding my almond milk. This is the unsweetened original flavor. Next, I'm adding my little acai pack. I always run this under hot water for a little bit to kind of just make it softer and easier to break. And then I break it up into a bunch of pieces. This way it's easier to blend. So then I add in strawberries and blueberries. So I don't really measure, I kind of just add some. Ah, 
Okay guys, so this is my acai bowl. I always put uh, strawberries and granola on top. I have it in my cute little anthropology bowl. Guys, I am so sad right now because I just ate my acai bowl and then I realized I forgot to put spinach in it, which I always do, but it was too late. But I wanted to show you guys the dress I have been wearing today. It's from Luca and Gray and it's just like so casual and comfy. So I really love it. I have it tied right here. Okay guys, so that is going to be our vlog today. We are about to watch PLL. But I also just finished inputting my dinner into the LifeSum app. And oh my gosh, the scan feature literally saves you so much time. It's so convenient to just like scan the barcodes really quick. Today, I ate 1,852 calories. So that is 158 calories over my recommended amount. I ate too many carbs. I was 79, does G stand for grams? 79 grams over. I didn't eat enough protein today. And I was just five grams over my fat recommendation thing. So that's why I like this app. I don't really care about the calories. It is good. I think it's good. People always get so mad when you talk about calories. It's okay to watch your calories. I don't like exclusively try to make sure that I'm like under my calories. Like I went 158 over and I don't care. I'm not stressed about it. Maybe tomorrow I'll eat a whole pizza and go like 5,000 calories over. It's fine. But what I really like is since I do try to eat mostly plant-based, sometimes I don't get enough protein. And today I didn't. I have like 41 grams left that I should have had. But, oh, what I didn't even say in the beginning of this clip was today was like a day where I ate healthy, but I didn't really eat like any vegetables. I didn't have like my green smoothie. It was just a really busy day, but that is life. That is just how things go sometimes. You don't always eat perfect. You don't always eat healthy and it's okay. We'll just do this. Make the, the editing easier for Parker so he doesn't have to like film the phone screen. Uh, now I can't see it actually. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna aim it like this much better so you can see my breakfast calories are on track my lunch was a little bit small and then my dinner was a little bit big i didn't eat any snacks today just because we were super busy i also didn't exercise today because we were super busy so yeah this is what it looks like super useful i really like this app a lot so i'm going to link this app down below if you guys want to check it out really awesome app I have been super into like health apps, like I said earlier. So I think it is a good idea. I always think it's good to just keep track of what you're eating, especially if you're trying to eat a certain way, um, like a vegetarian, vegan, any type of anything. It's always just good to know like have a reference of am I getting enough this this or this hope you guys enjoyed this video comment down below and let me know what your favorite recipes are because I'm always looking for new ones see you guys next time bye guys <laughs>